This is Joe Zekas from Yo Chicago. It's a gloomy day in late December, and there are eight inches of snow on the ground. But I happen to have many, many hours of driving around the North Shore stored on my hard drive. So we're going to see what Kenilworth looks like, starting at the train station, which we just passed, passing the Village Hall and the Historical Society on a sunny day in late September. Wanted to illustrate your walk home if you were to rent a home that's currently offered at 531 Essex Road for $5,000 a month. The purchase of the home just closed in mid-December at a price of a million three. Property taxes are nearly half the annual rent, so five grand a month seems like a pretty good deal. One way to look at that annual $60,000 rent is that it's just about the cost of sending two children to private schools, Latner Parker, for example, in the city of Chicago. If you live in Kenilworth, they'll be able to attend uh, the Joseph Sears School, one of the best in the state, and it's K-8, and it's just around the corner from the home that we're going to pause at, and New Trier High School, which is a short two-block walk north of 531 Essex Road. The home that's for rent has six bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a three-car garage, which is unusual for Kenilworth. It is a detached garage. The home sits on a 120 by 193 lot, and if you're a typical suburbanite, you might be thinking of that as uh, half an acre, because that's approximately what it is. If you're wondering why that car seemed to be going backwards on the other side of the street, it's because uh, I have the video running in reverse. The home has large, gracious rooms. It has uh, mature trees on the property, as you can see. It has high ceilings, hardwood floors, uh, recreation space in the basement, and a, a grand uh, 30 by 16 living room looking out over a beautiful backyard. The scene you're seeing now is the walk that uh, your teenagers would have on their way to New Trier High School, just a short two blocks north of the property.